you tell us a story? We're not sleepy. Come on, Grandma, yeah. Oh, yeah, Grandma, please. All right, now, darling, darling, okay, now, now, just sit down for a minute. Listen. Once upon a time in a place called Disland, there was a king named King Lou who kept his people happy with little Sif Dis. Now, that is, until one day when they revolted. Now, they were sick of them old disc and wanted something new, something stupid fresh. So to make his people happy again, he had his servants look all over the world for some new royal music. Luckily, a lady named Maid Halloween had written a beautiful song. She was unable to take it to him directly because she was just a peasant woman. So she went to visit her big muscular friend, Evan the Giant. And then after Evan listened to her song, he liked it so much he called his friend and fairy godmother, Michelle of the Flowers. Now together, the two of them had an idea. So they decided they'd find some little girls who could sing Maid Alloway's song and save this land. Mm, but little did Evan and Michelle know that when they began searching for the little girls, a mean, nasty, red, pimply faced bad guy named Elbert was watching them. Really? And soon he began plotting against them. Finally, after months of searching in a place called La La Land, Michelle and Elvin found four peasant girls, Latoya, Monique, La Petra, and Enrique. These little girls were the ones decided Michelle and Elvin. And satisfied that she had done her due, Michelle disappeared into a beautiful blue cloud of smoke. But meanwhile, back at this land, the king was still unable to provide his people with any new music. You know, the king went to his royal inventor, Sir John of London, to see what he was cooking. Because, you know, Sir John's inventors, they usually pepped him up. This day, he had something called a live box. Sir John's live box only depressed King Lou all the more because, you know, there were no new discs to be played on it. Luckily for the king, though, Elvin burst in with the four little sand girls. Yeah. Well, luckily for Elvin and the girls, Elvin jumped up and spoke against them. Mm. You can't have no singing group of little girls. And taking the advice of his advisor, the king. Oh, yeah. see. King had his guards escort Elvin and the little girls to one of his deepest, darkest dungeons to think about what they had done. I day Elvin, he was so free with it, he even pleased his punch. Little monster, why even backwards his name spelled trouble. But meanwhile, everyone was looking elsewhere. And then Michelle of the Flowers, she reappeared, gave Sir John of London a sparkling dish to play on his live box. And children, guess what happened next? What? When the people of this land heard the girls sing, they rolled up and started to work it, baby. And King Lou was so happy he kicked the evil Elbert out of his land forever. Yeah. He paid her in golden increments. You know, I, I believe it was King Lou who coined the phrase royalties. <laughs> anyway, as for Elvin and Michelle, he appointed them protectors over the girls and in charge of their new careers. And last but not least, to the girls. King Lou made them princesses of all the land. Really? And I bet I know what you think. What? This is the happy ending part. Isn't it? Wrong. Come here, I'll tell you what it is. No, sugar, come on over here now. This ain't the end of the whole. This is just the beginning.